Sup, y'all, I'll bring guys another video. Kudratilo Abdukakarov versus Cody Crowley. It's official. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video. It helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So, uh, like I was saying, this fight's official. Uh, Kudratilo versus Cody, scheduled for 10 rounds in the welterweight division to take place on the 11th of December. In the undercard of the Donaire versus Gabalo fight, which will be shown live on Showtime. So tune into Showtime if you want to see Donaire versus Gabalo, as well as the fight between Kudratilo and uh, Cody Crowley. And to my understanding, uh, Kudratilo versus Crowley will be the co-future, the co-main event over at the uh, Dignity Health Sports Park in uh, Carson, California, USA. So, um... Yeah, to those who don't know who Kudratilo is, he's a 28-year-old fighter from Uzbekistan, now residing in Malaysia, uh, also known as the Punisher. Um, to those who don't know, Uzbekistan is a rising nation when it comes to the sport of boxing. A lot of great talent coming from Uzbekistan lately. Uh, in the next few years, we will have multiple champions from Uzbekistan. Uh, Kudratilo uh, has what it takes to be one of them. Uh, he's currently undefeated, 18-0, 10 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. He's coming off a win against Javier Flores back in March of this year. Uh, Kudratilo is actually highly ranked under the sanctioning bodies. He's ranked number 8 under the WBC. He's ranked number 1 under the IBF. And he's ranked number 9 under the WBO. And actually, I think he might be higher up on the uh, WBC because they recently updated the rankings. Um, so yeah, he's up in the rankings. He's pretty much the mandatory for the IBF title um, and I'd love to see him fight could uh, Errol Spence I think I think that fight makes sense in the future uh, but right now I think most people well actually I think everybody uh, much rather see Terence Crawford versus Errol Spence so um, we might see could Rotillo get in the mix there who knows so um so yeah other than coming off that win against Flores he's been in there against Alex against Luis Colazzo Kaita Obera uh, but he hasn't really fought and beaten anyone that big and notable. Um, you know, he fought Luis Colazzo when he's on his way out. Luis Colazzo is pretty much um, not the same fighter as he was before. Uh, but here he is in his 19th pro fight against uh, undefeated Cody Crowley from Canada. 19-0, and 0, 9 wins coming by way of Nagar TKO. Not ranked. Um, I don't know why, because maybe due to inactivity. Um, he hasn't fought in more than a year. Last time he was in the ring was in September of 2020. Uh, so there's a lack of activity on his part. Um, he only fought twice in 2019 and only fought once last year and has not fought at all this year. So uh, Ring Rust might come in, into play in this fight against Kudratilo, which in my opinion would be a big, big uh, uh, disadvantage for Cody Crowley. Uh, he does not need that. Um, it would have been better for him if he took an easy fight first before stepping in there against somebody like Kudratilo, in my opinion. But anyway, I'm looking forward to this fight, looking forward to this event. Should be a great one. Um, especially the Donaire versus Gabalo fight. As a Filipino fight fan, that's the one I'm very much looking forward to. Sucks that I, I have work that day, man. I, I can't believe I can't believe it's 10 p.m. Eastern time. That's when it starts on showtime. That's so freaking late. Um <laughs> But then again, the event's taking place over in California, right? I mean it starts at 7 for you guys over there. So um so yeah. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about this fight? Kudratilo versus Crowley. Do you like it? Hate it? Dislike it? Let me know. In the next couple of weeks, I'll let you guys know who I think will win as we get closer to the fight. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right. Thanks.